In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw geometric forms in perspective. Knowing how to draw geometric forms in perspective is the foundation to being able to draw any form in perspective. Even complex forms such as the human body require a knowledge of how geometric forms exist in space. By now you should know how to draw a box in perspective from previous tutorials. To turn those boxes into geometric forms, you need to be able to draw an ellipse. In art, an ellipse is defined as a circle in perspective. So let's start with drawing a perfect circle. Start with a perfect square, find center, find the x and y axis. From here, draw a diamond connecting the x and y axis. Notice the triangles on the side. Roughly imagine the halfway point. Your perfect circle is comprised of these points. It is important for you to understand the definition of tangent, which is where a straight line touches a curve. If we return to our square, acknowledge the x and y axis of that square. Notice how the circle inside that square touches the side at the x and y axis. This is tangent. If you follow the same method for drawing a perfect circle inside a rectangle instead of a square, you'll get an oval. Notice how the process is the same. The only difference is that one is drawn with a square and the other with a rectangle. So guess what? This also means that the process is the same for drawing a circle in perspective. Take a look. Here I have a box in two points perspective. From here, I followed the process locating center. Then I connect the points of tangent. If you find that you're having a difficult time drawing the speed of the curve, draw in a diamond first. Roughly locate the halfway point of the triangles. This will give you another point to intersect making the speed of your curve more accurate. Once you've achieved how to draw an ellipse, you can draw a cone and a cylinder. First, make your boxes transparent. For a cone, draw an ellipse on any side. Then on the opposite side of the ellipse, locate center. Bring the sides of the ellipse to that center. For a cylinder, draw two ellipses on opposite sides of each other. Then connect the sides of the two ellipses. And there you have it. Whether you're drawing a complex form or a simple object, understanding geometric forms in perspective is the foundation to seeing all forms in perspective. <laughs>